Hello friends, uh, welcome to my tutorials of hybrid automation technologies. This is Vilas Patil here. Today we are going to learn how to activate the software and uh, simulation and basic programming in the RS Logic standard. For activation, you must have this uh, virtual floppy drive. First, you need to run this virtual floppy drive in administrative mode ok before going uh, for programming I will show you how this will work ok here it is showing that this product has not been successfully activated uh, grace period is uh, seven, 7 days if you want to uh, make this uh, RS Logics 500 uh, software in full version, first you need to run this uh, virtual floppy drive uh, in uh, administrative mode and then click on install and start and select the drive letter that is A and click on open. You should uh, mount this image file of a zip file, Rockwell keys. Browse this. Okay. Okay. Click on this and click open. Okay. Now you can see here the floppy disk is generated and it consists of three piles of Rockwell keys. Okay. Next, what we need to do. Uh, you must be installed RS Links, RS Logics Emulate, and RS Logics Pandit. Now I will show you. Okay, now you can see here the product has been successfully activated. Click OK. Open the RS Links also and RS Emulator. RS Logics Emulator. Okay, now in RS Links Classic. Click on the configure driver. Already one driver is running. I will stop this driver and delete this. If you want to install a new driver, click on SLC 500 emulator driver and click add new. You can rename it or keep as it is and click OK. Here the station number I am keeping it defaultly 00 and close this. Now in RS Logics 500 we need to do the program. Click on new and select the PLC controller. Here I am selecting MicroLogix 1000 PLC and click OK. Ok. Now here are the bits. New run, parallel run branch and normally open contact, normally close contact output coil latch and unlatch bits here and timer counters are here ok now I will show you the basic of this uh, RS Logics 500 how to take the inputs and all ok now click on new run and click the contacts here ok Okay, if you want to uh, give the address to these contacts and coils, you can directly select the contact and press I, I for input and O for output. Okay, I here I am pressing I and press enter continuously and it will take the address automatically. So here, if you want to give a name or description for the input, here I am going to uh, specify name <coughs> name as switch. Okay. Okay. Now this is the output. Just press O and press enter. Okay. Now it is done. Uh, for simulation purpose you have to do one thing that verify the project and verify file and save this program.
save this program test after saving open that file through the rs logics emulator here it is open and you have to specify the next uh, station number that is 01 previously we have taken 00 now go to online i will repeat the steps i once again okay before simulation you have to uh, specify the driver also and communication here is the mu501 and click on who active this is the driver which we have created earlier and click this 01 station number this can be your virtual uh, plc click ok and apply ok now go to online and run the program now if you want to trigger this input uh, in hardware we can uh, trigger the input externally by using switches and uh, push buttons and other sensors here I am going to right click on the contact and click force on and click force off now you can see forcing on uh, makes the output is on again force off okay now uh, what latch and unlatch bit here i will take one more contact one more rung and one more normally open contact and give it the next address For an latch and unlatch program, bits, you have to take the same address. Okay. Uh, this switch is acting like a, this contact is acting like a starting the output and this can be used for uh, stopping the output here. Okay. Now again verify the file and verify the project and save this. Again you have to halt this and close and open the update, up, updated program here. This is the program. Again you have to specify the station number here. Now go to online and click on run. Now you can see here when I trigger this input and release the output will remain in on state continuously even though input is low ok to turn it off because uh, we, are, we have triggered the latch bit here ok to uh, turn it off we have to trigger this unlatch bit here for uh, triggering this I have taken another switch or uh, contact here I will force it on and release this now you can see here the output is off. This is the process of latch and unlatch bits here. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching my videos and keep watching my videos and please subscribe to my channel and uh, give suggestion for me to the uh, to my channel. Thank you.